exercise is two man exercise which to increase the grabbing power of your hands by grabbing the forearms back and forth between you and your partner. In this section, some of the most common anti-China techniques are shown here. In martial arts, every punch can be blocked and every technique can be countered. And there's no exception in the China. China technique can be countered before it become a deadlock. A deadlock means you cannot move or bend your wrist, your elbow, or move any part of your body to a more favorable condition to counter the technique. The first technique is you initiated with a chest grab and your opponent try to put an elbow lock on you. And before it become a deadlock, you bend the elbow and pull your elbow out and with your both hand grab your opponent's hands and knock his arm against your body. The next one is you try to grab your opponent on the shoulder and your opponent put a wrist lock on your right hand by pressing his elbow down on your forearm. Now bend the elbow and turn your body around and behind him and wrap your left forearm around your opponent's neck and pull up and try to break the neck bone of your opponent. Doing the China or anti-China technique effectively, you must have a good speed and a strong wrist and arm. Next one is you try to punch the head of your opponent and your opponent grab your forearm and put an elbow lock on you. As your opponent push your arm downward At this time, you can slide your two legs in between his left leg and turn around and lock his leg at the knee. The 
next one is you grab the opponent's right arm with your right hand and your opponent put a wrist lock on your arm Now you have to bend your right elbow and step forward and put your left hand in and push his wrist forward and down. This is a similar technique to the first one that we've seen. The opponent put a wrist lock on your arm and you bend the elbow. And this time you put the hand on top of your opponent's hand. And with the right arm and the elbow pressing down and apply pressure on the wrist and the arm of your opponent. This is another technique to against a wrist lock from your opponent. And here you have also to bend the elbow. And with the left hand place on your opponent's elbow and turn it around and put an elbow lock on him. This one started with a reverse hand grip and your opponent putting a wrist lock on your left arm by placing his arm on top of your elbow. You st we'll take one step forward and turn your body around with your right hand grabbing the opponent's throw to break his hole. Next one is started with a handshake and your opponent putting a thumb press on you with his both hand pressing your thumb down.
to counter this technique. Put your left hand on top of his right arm and use the elbow pushing upward to apply pressure both on the wrist and on the elbow. The next technique is to counter an elbow lock from your opponent. At this position, you take a step forward and place your left hand on his elbow and with the right hand grabbing his arm and pressing forward and downward to apply pressure on his elbow. Next one is a counter technique to a elbow lock. Your opponent putting an elbow lock by wrapping his left arm around yours and pushing upward. Bend the elbow and step to the behind of your opponent and grab your opponent's chin and turn his head to the side. At the same time, with the right hand grabbing your opponent's right arm against to your body and putting pressure on his elbow. technique is to against a headlock from your opponent at this position pull the right arm out from the grab of, of your opponent and putting an elbow lock on his left arm Speed and timing is important in the counter 